Uh, my name is Mr. J. And I teach uh, English, primarily nine, and mythology. Um, I chose to become a teacher because I have a passion for sharing knowledge and helping people to also discover that they might also have that same passion. So I started as a snowboard coach and instructor. I also did a lot of coaching and mentoring in high school with either peer-to-peer -peer or uh, also like training conferences, um, and I was also involved in a lot of teaching practices in college as well, and it seemed like a natural path for me. Um, in terms of why I teach English, um, I really enjoy reading and writing, and I love the freedom and creativity that English allows you to do. So whether it is writing a story narrative or uh, maybe even a bibliographic analysis of whatever it might be, figuring out what the constraints of that say my own or figuring out what the constraints of those projects are gives me a creative outlet to figure out what the steps to the solution will ultimately be. So in terms of like why I became an English teacher, I think that one of the things you have to do as a human being is create. And if you're not creating, I guess you don't really know. And uh, if anything, teaching is my creative outlet. So it's the best way for me to express myself. Specifically, the most I can see. The genre that I'm particularly interested in, or the subgenre, would be libraries with books that lead to secret other worlds. So, some of my favorite books as of late have been Midlife Library, uh, Star of the Sea, um, and it's also Pam's Life. I think it's called, I can't remember the author's name. But um, I really enjoy it because it's like nice little escape. You can just take around to create it. It's, it's a good way to not think about some of the kind of dream books that I'm reading. Uh, I also teach mythology, so one of my favorite cultures to study for mythology is the Norse or the Nordic region of mythology. And the reason for that is because it's been often described as like the fraternity of mythology, a bunch of rowdy boys going wild, and that's basically what it is. So. Um, if you're looking for the wackiest or silliest myths, usually the Norse is where you're going to find it. Um, in terms of what my favorite kind of essay is, um, I particularly enjoy the literary analysis because it kind of blends reading and writing in an interesting way, in the sense that you're writing about reading, uh, so examining another author's work and breaking down their craft and structure to see how they did it. So not only is it an examination of someone else's work, but it's also an opportunity for you to express either things that you thought were good about it, bad about it, things you liked, or things that you think that ultimately the author can do better. So you kind of become a critic in a way, which I think is interesting in terms of writing an essay, uh, being able to take a look at someone else's work and ultimately then put your thoughts and opinions about it based on uh, the way that they chose to write the story. Um, and then, the best piece of advice that I've ever been given uh, probably has to do with success and failure. Uh, su true success can't really ever be achieved unless you've failed at least a couple times. Um, it's okay to fail, if ultimately if you are trying to learn something and you get it right the first time, you probably didn't do it for the best that it could be. So don't be afraid to fail. That would be the best piece of advice.